All right, I am going to try and not lose it in critiquing this photo for Terminator 6. But I'm not happy, and I can just tell I cannot contain the anger. So let's just get this started. Start the show. What's up, everybody? This is Ron K. Armstrong, filmmaker extraordinaire, with another episode for you. And I want to talk to you about this train wreck of a photo they just released for Terminator 6. I mean, I was sitting there minding my business, and Lester, what's up, Lester? He brought the photo to me, and I just, I almost lost it. I freaked out, and I was like, what's going on so this photo I guess it's some type of dystopia and uh, the first thing that drew my eye um, was the character in the middle the boy the girl whatever it is I guess it's a Terminator I don't know but that is Mackenzie Davis and she actually is from Blade Runner 2049 if you watch that film she looks very pretty in that film so I guess here they made her up to be like some type of non-binary character. And this goes along with their whole SJW agenda. Um, I mean, you got to shake your head at this. You can just go, what the hell is wrong with Hollywood? You know, the, the, three, the photos is three females. And uh, why are you making a, a tech film, tech action film, that your audience is going to be predominantly male with three females that are not hot. They are they are not even attractive to look at. And I, I gotta give props to Linda Hamilton. She kicked butt of Sarah Connor, but right now she's old. She's old, okay? Um, let, me, let, me, let me reveal the truth of what's going on here. Because a lot of critics and internet personalities, um, and some good friends of mine are talking about how, oh, this is another, um, Pushed by the social justice warriors to inject identity politics and we're getting sick of it uh, it's the same thing as the Ghostbusters that failed the box office and this is gonna fail the box office and by the way this is not even directed by James Cameron this is directed by Tim Miller and supposedly they're going to throw away um, all the other Terminator movies which is uh, um, number three four five six or whatever get rid of those um, and the only thing that's going to be canon will be Terminator 1 and 2. How do you just get rid of the other ones? You just can't. They've been made. They've been made and cost millions of dollars and, and the, you know, and employed writers and other artists. And you're just going to say, oh, your work sucked. We're going to get rid of it. We're going to act like it never happened. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But, but see, this is what's going on. And we need to understand what's going on in Hollywood. Hollywood doesn't give a damn about diversity. They don't give a damn about SJW. What they want to push is their um, social conditioning, mind control for the future, the new world order, which in, in, what they want to do is emasculate males, show these strong, empowered females, and, and, and bring this animosity between white males, uh, white females and white males, and white males against uh, minorities, specifically African Americans, so that they could rein in this whole new concept about, um, you know, um, gender fluidity, non-binary, and this, in doing so, because if you eliminate males from the population of a society, the society is rendered defenseless, and you can go in there and easily take it over. This is how the new world order will be ushered in. This is exactly what they want to do through this mind controlling. So what do they do? They take the most popular franchises out there. Your Star Wars, your Terminators, you know, um, your Ghostbusters, your, your Ocean's um, Eleven or whatever. And what you do is you inject this whole concept of strong female empowerment, Mary Sue's, and you put down the males. And this is mind control. And so eventually, as um, generations are raised, they're raised to despise males. Uh, males are raised in a way of thinking that they um, are not the power brokers, the masters of the universe, the builders, the protectors. 
that they um, are, are feminine. This is what you do. And, and, and cleverly, Hollywood is doing this by taking existing properties because they wouldn't dare try and start a, a, a new franchise because they know it would bomb immediately. So they, they, they leverage or steal these franchises and then throw in their, their, their mind control or identity politics. So what happens here then is because it's a well-known franchise, you're going to get a large uh, population of the audience to go see it. And that's where your message will reach out into the world because this is a global franchise, Terminator. And just so you know, Hollywood's giving themselves away. No one is asking for another Terminator movie. We're tired of the Terminator movies. There's been all these Terminator movies. There's been the Terminator TV series. We're done with this. But again, um, they're not listening to the audience. Just like in Star Wars, they weren't listening to the audience the first time that we said that that um, Ray was a Mary Sue. They just went and, and, and in fact just made her into more of a Mary Sue in The Force Awakens. So they're not listening to the audience because the, the, the chief agenda that they have is to put out their social propaganda. And they have to condition the minds to set us up for this new world order. And they're using our beloved franchises, the movies we've grown up with, to do it and essentially ruining them. So that's what's going on here. This photo is disgusting. It doesn't make me want to see the movie. It's so weird when you look at Mackenzie Davis, who's a beautiful woman, the way they've made her look. I mean, I have no interest just from this photo and seeing this movie. You know, and if they go back and look at things like Alien with, with um, uh, what, what's her name? Um, Sigourney Weaver. She represented the strong female. You knew she was a woman. You knew she was strong. You knew she was going to kick ass and, and go out there and confront the, the queen alien. You know, that's the characters we want. Just follow the footsteps of Wonder Woman. That, the, that last Wonder Woman movie was great. She, we knew she was sexy. She was attractive. She was strong. She was outgoing. This weirdness, you know, but they're not going to listen because they, they have their agenda and they are moving forward with it regardless of what we feel. Now, the other part to this is that Hollywood doesn't give a damn about diversity. You know, they're pushing this whole idea of trying to prop up white women um, and try to emasculate white men. But and they're disguising it as their little uh, social uh, warrior agenda. They're disguising it as that. But n never do you hear them pushing African Americans to the forefront. You don't see that, or, or Latin Americans to the forefront, because they, re they represent a big population in the United States. The only demographic that you'll see that they're pushing to the forefront is Chinese, and that's because they want to get some of that Chinese box office. But China, China's a communist, so why are we even trying to be friends with them? But, you know, they, they purchase a lot of tickets. So, in fact, when you watch the movies today, what you're seeing is that the African Americans are still uh, the best friend, the sidekick, and they're 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 really just uh, very much two-dimensional characters. So they're not pushing that agenda. They're not pushing out African Americans in their own films. Like if you see the Black Panthers breaking box office records, I think domestically it made 700 million, it crossed over a billion worldwide. Where are the other movies with all African American casts? Why don't we push that as strong as we're pushing this SJW agenda? Why don't we do that? Because they don't care about diversity. It's all about mind programming for the New World Order. That's what it's about. Because if it was really about diversity, you would see in, in the television shows, in the, in the, in the, uh, the movies, you would see more minority characters in lead roles. In Star Wars, um, Finn is not in the lead role, and he's laughable. He's just there to give us some laughs. So that's what's going on with that. It's a shame that Hollywood is doing this and, and trying to uh, lie. They're being disingenuous to the American people about what their intentions are. It has nothing to do with uh, social justice warriors. It's more to do with their dark, clandestine attempts 
um, to rein us into the uh, dark dystopian future of the New World Order. Anyway, this is Ron K. Armstrong with Lester here. And until my next broadcast, keep hope alive.